The Republic XF-84H Thunder Screech was a turboprop aircraft developed from the F-84F Thunder Streak. It was an experimental aircraft, but it never got past the prototype stage. It is also probably the loudest aircraft ever built. The Thunder Screech was developed to accommodate a U.S. Navy requirement for a carrier fighter that would not need catapult assistance. It was originally known as the XF-106, but the designation was changed to the XF-84H. Three prototypes were ordered, but the U.S. Navy eventually canceled the order for a third prototype. The remaining XF-84H prototypes became pure research aircraft, built for the Air Force's propeller laboratory. The Thunder Screech was created by modifying the airframe of an F-84F with an Allison XT-40A1 turboprop engine. The aircraft had a nose-mounted propeller, but did also provide thrust through its exhaust. Thrust was adjusted by changing the propeller blade pitch. The tail was changed to a T-tail, to avoid turbulent airflow over the horizontal stabilizer surfaces from propeller wash. The powerful torque from the propeller, as well as problems with the supersonic propeller blades, destabilized the thunder screech. Several configurations of the propeller blades were tested, and a number of design features were tested to counteract the torque. Both the prototypes that were produced suffered from engine-related problems. The XF-84 was the first aircraft equipped with an extendable air ram turbine, that could be used in the event of engine failure to provide hydraulic and electrical power. This feature came to good use on the XF-84. The Thunder Screech had incredible acceleration, but proved to be unsuited for combat due to a 30-minute warm-up time, and to vibrations from the propeller, as well as mechanical failures of the prop pitch gearing. Twelve test flights were made, and one of the test pilots refused to fly the Thunder Screech more than once, because of stability problems. Ten of the twelve test flights ended in forced landings. The propeller of the Thunder Screech traveled faster than the speed of sound, producing a continuous sonic boom. The aircraft could be heard 40 kilometers away. This caused severe nausea and headaches among ground crews, and the shock waves from the propeller were strong enough to knock a man down. The vibrations from noise were even seen as a damage risk for the control tower of Edwards Air Force Base. Due to the problems with the Thunder Screech, the test program did not proceed past the manufacturer's Phase 1 testing. No U.S. Air Force pilots ever flew the Thunder Screech, and the program was cancelled in September 1956. Only two prototype aircraft were produced.